on this new thing. I'm trying, I'm trying, I am trying to drink four of these a day. This is my fifth one and I've been doing this for like three days straight and I feel so much better because I am literally the worst person, I'm not joking, I am the worst person at drinking water. Like if there is a first prize, I am the last. Like I am so bad at drinking water. Don't worry guys, I'm recycling. It just helps me to have a new bottle every time. I don't know why, but I'm really proud of myself. This is my third day and I've literally drank so many bottles of water and I'm really proud. I love this outfit. I love my hair. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. Um, hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing my most complimented fragrances, but I've split it up into a designer uh, video and also I will do a niche video. So I'm going to be doing the design art one um, So yeah, I have 11 fragrances here. These are my most complimented design art fragrances. So Yep, obviously we're only in June um, It's like my birthday in a week. I'm turning 21 in a week and it's so scary. But anyways <laughs> um, Yeah, wait, what was I saying? It's only the middle of the year So obviously I will do another video maybe in December of my most complimented for the entire year But this is just so far these fragrances have been my most complimented. So let's just start out I've got my number 11 here Yes, <laughs> this is a men's fragrance, but I wear it. It is Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de L'Homme if you're a girl and you do like those more androgynous fragrances or not even androgynous, maybe just a little bit more unique and musky and mysterious and sexy, please check out La Nuit de L'Homme from Yves Saint Laurent. To me, it doesn't smell overly masculine. It's kind of got a bit of a fruitiness, a bit of an aromaticness. There's a beautiful cardamom note in here, woodiness, sweetness. It's just stunning. I love this fragrance and I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. I've had quite a few compliments on this fragrance from men, which I kind of find hilarious because it is a men's fragrance. But La Nuit de Lomme from Yves Saint Laurent. Girls, do not steer away from men's fragrances. Obviously, if you don't feel comfortable wearing men's fragrances and you don't want to, and you really want to smell like the way that I look, very feminine and floral and girly, then that's fine. But I'm just talking from a person who loves all fragrances. Just go and explore and wear whatever you want. <clears throat> okay, so the next fragrance that I get complimented on more than I ever expected to is Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. I, like I said, am surprised that I get complimented on this fragrance just because it's very strong, it's quite polarizing, and to me it's not really a DNA that I feel like everybody would like, yet I get complimented almost every time that I wear this one. I've been wearing this one a lot because I am in the cooler weather right now. To me, it uh, reminds me of the fall. It reminds me of Christmas, the full time pumpkin spice lattes, even though I've never had one of those in my entire life, it just reminds me of all of that sort of festive season, which I love. To me, it smells like a beautiful creamy vanilla with a uh, realistic smelling tobacco leaf, like an unburned tobacco with some beautiful clove spices. Nothing too, uh, you know, in your face spiciness. It's kind of like a subtle spiciness, like a little uh, you know a little hint of spice. I just think it is fantastic There's definitely like a milky creaminess there as well, which I love so tobacco vanille I get a lot of compliments with this one guys. I would not lie about it I was surprised myself, but I've definitely had a lot of compliments with tobacco vanille from Tom Ford Okay, so this one is actually another surprise I did not expect to get as many compliments from this fragrance as I do This is from Chanel and this is Allure Sensuelle now, Allure Sensuelle to me is a beautiful, spicy, spicy, spicy fragrance. Like this is a spicy oriental patchouli scent. I feel like it's definitely, I love it with this outfit. I think that it would go so beautifully with this outfit. <laughs> um, that's another story, but I feel like this fragrance maybe is more suitable for a more mature person. I don't think a young teenager would like this fragrance at all because it is very spicy. There's pink pepper, patchouli also can give off a very spicy kind of vibe. Um, there's rose, there's floral, there's a little bit of a sweetness there, a little bit of like a citrusiness there as well. It is just stunning and I find this fragrance really, really sexy. And one of my favorite things about this fragrance is that it lasts all day on my skin. Like when everybody else's fragrance is gone, mine is still going strong because I'm wearing Chanel Allure Sensual. Love this fragrance. I find it very sexy, but more of a mature sexy. This isn't a vulgar sexy, an obnoxious sexy. It's a mature sexy scent. So keep that in mind 
Allure Sensual from Chanel. Oh, okay. I know a lot of you girls right now that love your sweeter scents are going to love this fragrance. And I can tell you right now, you can blind buy this if you like sweet fragrances. This is from Yves Saint Laurent and this is Manifesto Le Parfum. Oh my god, <laughs> I have had ridiculous compliments with this fragrance and the funny thing is is that I haven't even worn this fragrance that much but every single time I wore it, guys I'm not exaggerating, every single time I wore this fragrance somebody complimented me because to me it's just one of the most likeable sweet fragrances that I have ever smelled period. There is nothing, um, you know, there's nothing that you don't expect from this fragrance, yet it is fantastic. There's vanilla. Oh, it is so, so, so good. There is vanilla. It's balsamic. It's creamy. It's a bit powdery. It's got uh, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, benzwin, maybe amber. I'm not sure, but it is just a fantastic overall sweet balsamic scent. It is fantastic. It is probably my favorite from the Manifesto line along with the Elixir version. But like I said, <laughs> if you like sweet fragrances, you can count on me right now. This fragrance you will love and you will get complimented on. Manifesto Le Parfum from Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> okay, so we have another Chanel right now. Again, this is something that I would wear with this outfit. I actually wore Coco yesterday when I went out and I got one compliment at a restaurant that I went to. And to me, I am very surprised that I get complimented when I wear Coco because I think that Coco Eau de Parfum from Chanel is an acquired fragrance. It definitely doesn't smell like all of the fragrances that are being released now. This is so unique, it's so vintage, it's so special, but for some reason Coco smells, I think personally, amazing on my skin. It smells fantastic. I actually got complimented on this fragrance when I was wearing it by a perfumer. A perfumer gave me a compliment when I was wearing Coco from Chanel and that to me is like the ultimate compliment and they didn't even say are you wearing Coco from Chanel? They just said you smell fantastic and I was wearing Coco. So to me this is like my party fragrance, my event fragrance, my going out, I want to feel and look elegant, stunning, beautiful, this is what I wear. So Coco Eau de Parfum from Chanel, love this fragrance. So next up we have another men's fragrance. This one is Versace Eros. Now I do know friends of mine, girlfriends that wear this version of Versace Eros because in my opinion this does not smell masculine. It doesn't smell feminine but it definitely kind of teeters in the middle of being like a unisex fragrance. This is sweet, it's loud, it's kind of a little bit spicy, it's fresh, it's minty, it's bubblegum. It is just fantastic. I hate to admit it, but I do really enjoy wearing this fragrance from time to time and every time I wear it, it gets me a compliment. It doesn't smell natural and beautiful and like a masterpiece of perfume. It's not like that at all. But if you do want to get compliments, I do recommend checking out Versace Eros because it will definitely get you a compliment like it has me. I'm going to be honest with you guys, in this list, these are not necessarily my favorite fragrances. Uh, Coco from Chanel is one of my favorites, obviously, um, but Manifesto Le Parfum, that's not a personal favorite of mine, but it gets me a lot of compliments. So compliments are kind of different to personal favorites, obviously. I'm just sharing with you guys what people have reacted the most positive to in my collection. So this is definitely one of them, even though I think it smells really synthetic. Uh, so it smells good, but very synthetic. Okay, so the next fragrance that I get so many compliments on, and it surprised me, is this beauty right here. This is Lancome's La Nuit Tresor à la Folie. Now, this is the flanker. You guys know that the original La Nuit Tresor was a compliment getter of mine for years and years and years, and I loved that fragrance to death. And when this one came out, so many people wanted me to get it, to buy it, so I actually did blind buy this one, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was so disappointed when I first smelled it. I was just underwhelmed, to say the very least, but then I started wearing it, and the more and more that I started wearing it, the more and more that I started loving it, and then I started getting so many compliments on it. The more and more that I wore it, I noticed how many people around me loved this fragrance. I'd go into my gym, not that I wore this to the gym, but it was just kind of left over on my skin. I'd get complimented on the gym, complimented from friends in a club, in a restaurant. I would get so many compliments on this fragrance. So this one is a huge compliment getter for me. 
Oh, it smells so good. To me, this one is a creamier, more smooth cupcake version of the original. The original has that very strong patchouli note, the lychee, the caramel, and it all kind of clashes. Even though it smells fantastic, there's a huge no breakdown, and I feel like it all kind of clashes and becomes very sharp, which I really like. But this one is a lot creamier, smoother, more like a cupcake, and it smells fantastic, like a fruity, yummy um, tonka bean cupcake, and it's just fantastic. So the next one that we have is a freshy right here. You can actually see how much I've worn of this one. This is Shiseido Zen. A lot of you girls have bought this fragrance because of me. I haven't had really one person say that they don't like it. I'm sure that there's people out there that don't like this fragrance, but it is a very, very likable fragrance. I don't really see many people objecting to this scent because it's beautiful, subtle, smooth. It really does fit its name. It's a very zen sort of fragrance. This one is a beautiful, uh, juicy, citrusy patchouli scent, but it's very soft and smooth and seamless. Patchouli can be very strong and very intense. It's not strong and intense in here. It's more subtle and blended and just 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 absolutely gorgeous <laughs> huge compliment getter for me like huge 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 compliment getter and the great thing about this fragrance is that it does last a very long time on your skin for being a fresher fragrance so fantastic fragrance i love it a lot but it gets me so so many compliments okay so the next fragrance that we have here is flora botanica uh, from Balenciaga. It's a fresh fragrance, but it's quite loud. It does definitely project off of my skin and I do get a lot of compliments with this one. To me, this is a dewy, sweet, minty, a little bit spicy rose scent and it is just fantastic. There is a cannabis note in here, but it doesn't really smell, I've said this many times, it doesn't really smell like cannabis. It's more just a little bit green, kind of like a garden, like a dewy garden or something like that. Fantastic fragrance. This will get you compliments for sure. Um, and yeah, I love this fragrance a lot. Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. Next fragrance. I am just going to hold up the bottle. Yeah, this is still, still going so strong, like so strong in my collection. This out of all of my designer, all of my niche is still in my top, maybe top three biggest compliment getters in the entire world. This is Lancome's Oud Bouquet. What do I say? You guys all know how it smells by now. One of the best, the best rose oud combinations ever. It is probably the sweetest rose oud combination that I've personally tried. It is beautiful, praline, vanilla, like caramel, warm, yummy, delicious rose and oud. It is fantastic. I remember a review um, saying that it's like a campfire and you're melting schmores and yummy food and it really does smell like that. This is a fantastic fragrance. There's a little bit of an incense vibe. The oud is not too off-putting at all. I feel like you just get a little bit of more of um, like a smokiness in the fragrance, but fantastic fragrance. Still to this day, one of my biggest compliment getters ever. So yeah, Lancome's Oud Bouquet. My number one is going to be very predictable. Yes. It doesn't matter if you hate this fragrance or if you love this fragrance, it, it's totally a personal preference. I personally love and adore Alien and for some reason, every time I wear this fragrance, people go crazy for it. And I would not say that about any other fragrance in this list except for Oud Bouquet. These are definitely my two biggest designer compliment getters for sure. Um, but Alien, people just go insane. Men have given me some of the most insane compliments when I've been wearing Alien. Women as well, but mostly men, I will tell you guys. This one, I get compliments, like insane compliments from men. I don't know what it is, but this fragrance just does something and it works magic. I would say that this is not a great fragrance if you want to be really intimate with somebody because it is so loud, it's so synthetic, and it's so strong, but yet, it is going to get you compliments. Wear this in the club, wear it in a bar, wear it on a night out, wear it outside. Endless compliments if you can stand to wear it because some people cannot stand to wear this fragrance. So Alien, if you don't know, it's an indolic jasmine scent. It's very jasmine, amber heavy. Uh, people say it smells like grape. I get that a little bit, but not really. <laughs> so yeah, Alien from Mugler, just check it out. But it is my biggest compliment getter so far this year.
So yeah, that is it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my biggest compliment getters in the designer world for 2019 so far. So I will do a niche version of this if you guys are interested. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.